welcome back to the channel. This is the Ian West Network, and today we're going to do another comparison, but this time it's going to be the Liberty Neo versus the Life uh, Note E. They're both Soundcore Anchor headphones, so without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Like always, you saw the sign, subscribe, it's absolutely free. Why not help me build my channel so that way I can get basic tech around the world for everybody to see. Also, let me do a quick shout out for AK Sparks. Um, they're the ones that actually requested this video. And because I still have these headsets, a lot of the headsets I give away on this channel, but I still had these. So here's a little comparison right here. So you have a better understanding of what it is that you prefer. So first things first, I'm going to try to make this a short video instead of them 700 minute videos I normally make. Uh, we have two types of designs right here. The needles are to the left. The notes are to the right. So that's how I'm going to refer to them, the Neo and the Note. The notes have that in-ear design, as you can see right here. Make sure these are clean. Here you go. They are. They have that in-ear design, very lightweight, very simple, touch controls. While the Neos actually have that more in-ear design, well, they both have in-ear, but there's no stems whatsoever. And the physical button that you see right here is actually a physical button. And I'll be honest, when we're talking about fit, these actually fit better in the ear in terms of sealing sound because of the design. While a little bit of sound does leak out on the notes, but that's okay because you're buying them for a particular type of design. On the back, we have wires. I'm supposed to say wireless charger, I'm lying. We have USB-C on the notes. While we, unfortunately, we do have micro USB for the Neos, but other than that, this is still a pretty decent headset solid case to be honest i feel like the neo's case is a lot more solid if we're talking about design while there's nothing wrong with the uh notes case it just feels a little bit flimsier still quality design but it just feels lighter it feels eh, you know honestly i can't really say it so much feels lighter it does a little bit but it's hard to say i don't know the exact weight for each headset but that's that now the neo's do come with more attachments for instance, if you like the wing tips, this piece of rubber actually comes off and you can put different wing tips on here. I think it's like two or three that come inside of the case. I forget. I did a review on it. So, you know, reference that so you can see what actually comes with this headset. While the notes, on the other hand, don't have any type of wing tips. They just have the rubber tips inside of the case, inside of the box. And that's what it comes with. So the important part, uh, IPX7 for the Neos. So if you happen to fall inside the pool with your headset on or it falls out of your ear into the toilet, ugh, the toilet, <laughs> I had to use that example. You can still take them out and you won't have any issues. While this one over here, the notes are IPX5, so it is splash and dust, resist, dust resistant. But just make sure you don't dunk them in anything because it won't necessarily be able to take that. So even though headphones say IPX5, yeah, you're not going to be able to go underwater, a meter underwater or anything like that. But sometimes it can take a little bit of water damage and not conk out. But just to be safe, avoid it at all costs. Uh, we already talked about the micro USB charger. Uh, this one right here, the Neos are 5.0 Bluetooth. Uh, not bad. Does, does the job perfectly fine. Uh, one moment, guys. Put some lotion on the hands real fast. All right, there we go. Had a little ashiness. All right, so this one is 5.0 Bluetooth. While this one right here is 5.2 Bluetooth, the uh, the notes. So it is a better Bluetooth. The connectivity in theory should be better. And in actual usage, I'm going to be completely honest. Yes, the connectivity is better overall on the uh, Life Notes. Though what I will say, Life Notes over here. Though what I will say is I haven't had any type of real issues with connectivity with these. Initially, when I first bought them, I did, but I was using a cheap lower end android we're talking like a sampling a10e i was testing them on so it did disconnect quite a bit but once i used an iphone or a52 uh the most of the phones i talk about on my channel the mid-tier phones i didn't have any connectivity issues whatsoever so just be aware of that both of these headsets have mono mode so if you're looking to use the left by itself or the right by itself either or they both they both have that now, what I will say about the difference, I have to think about what I was about to say. Connectivity, speeds, the life notes actually connect much faster and more seamlessly than the Neos. The Neos will tell you that it's powering on, it'll let you know the battery life, it's this high battery, and then a second or two later it will connect. So it does take a little bit of time. Granted, this one, when you pop it in your ear, 
it, within a second or two, a couple seconds, I don't want to make it sound faster than what it is, they will connect faster. I'll say that. In addition to that, battery life. This is where it starts to separate itself in a little bit. The notes right here have a total of eight hours inside of the headset. Let me just spin that around so you guys can see that. Eight hours inside the headset. And you're getting 24 inside the case, which gives you a total of 32. Wow. And this is the weird part. But I'm going to go based on what I actually know. There are two, For some reason, there are websites that are giving you two separate battery lives on the Neos. If you go into the website, it might say that this has 3.5 battery life and 12 in the case. That's not true. The needles that I have, especially with the box that I came with, for oddly enough, it has five hours in the ear and 15 inside the case. So you get a total of 20, you get a total of 32. Now, granted, that is a huge difference in battery life, especially listening time on one charge, but it's five hours, which is the industry, I'm not going to say the industry standard. Yeah, it is. It is. It kind of is the industry standard with Galaxy Buds and EarPods and things like that. Um, pretty basic. Now, again, you're going to look on this website. If you go to anchor.com, you're going to see these. and It's going to say probably like 3.5 hours of battery life. I double-checked websites. I even had to look at the box again and look at my review and just verify everything. Because I'm like, wait a minute. Why is it coming off this way? If, for whatever reason, um, my box is something different and my actual usage is entirely different. So, again, I ordered these off of Amazon. Five hours inside the case. I'm sorry, five hours inside the headset. You can use either or separately. And 15 inside the actual case itself. So, this is where the part actually matters. And I want to stop the video after this guy right here. Actually, no, I want to do a little, uh, not a music comparison, but, well, it's kind of like a music comparison right now and talk time, not, not talk time, talk clarity comparison. And then I'm going to show you how it looks inside the ear. And then we're pretty much done with the video. Um, these have 10 millimeter drivers, the uh, notes, while these, when I looked them up, have six millimeter drivers, but there's two of them. And it does make a difference. When I'm listening to music, a lot of music, bass heavy music, amongst other things, I notice that the Liberty Neos right here sound much better than the notes. Like the notes sound a little drowned out, kind of. It sounds like a little faded, like the noise is kind of in the background. It doesn't have more umph than the needles. So if we're talking about music quality, and this is my opinion, because of this in-ear design where it seals the noise right here while the bud goes inside of your ear, a lot of the noise is, is what's the word? See, I don't know how to describe it. I guess compact it more in your ear, while with this design, the, 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 it kind of leaks out the back, kind of like when you stick them in your ear. The, this entire part is not directly in your ear, which doesn't cause any ear fatigue. I haven't had, well, to be honest, the, the only time I had air fatigue for the Neos was when I had it in for about four to five hours and I was listening to something about 70, 80% volume doing tests, which I do not suggest anyone that's not, I don't even suggest if you're a YouTuber, you got to be very careful because I'm probably going to be a deaf old man doing headphone reviews and I need to definitely jump into more phones or something because <laughs> this can't be healthy for me. But like I said, the Neos, if you're talking about just, just I listen to some ACDC, I listen to some Eurobeats. My good old initial D songs. Um, did a couple rap songs here and there. A little bit of Jay-Z, a little bit of Linkin Park. Uh, that Jimmy No Ippo. Like I just, I just kind of did a, a big genre search of just different types of music. And yeah, the Neos over here performed better. It just had better sound. It had louder sound. It felt more in depth. It felt, uh, it had richer sound. No, get me wrong, Liberty Note E's are very good. I'm not going to discount them because these are my primary headsets that I use normally going to and from work because of how lightweight it is and how easy it is to put uh, hats over my head and it doesn't feel, it doesn't press against the side of my head. But realistically, if we're just talking about music quality and sound, I have to hand it to the Neos. If we're talking about call quality, uh, they're pretty much similar, very similar in terms of call quality. But I will still give that the Neos kind of edge it out in call quality in terms of just clarity. Not that the other person can't hear you. I'm just talking about sharpness of the incoming voice coming to you. If, I, if we're talking about the speaker talking to other people, uh, my wife said that the Liberty Note E sound a little bit better to her, slightly. But when people are talking to me, 
she said that the uh well not her i had to say this part that the neo felt like clear hd calling in my opinion but realistically we're talking prices they're literally both 49.99 on amazon of course if you go to the best buy website uh you can normally find these for about like i said 49 like no ease but they are sometimes on sale for twenty dollars which was during the holiday time and recently they were on sale for $24.99. So when you look at the price, the fact that it's USB-C, longer, better, like smaller, much easier to carry. You look at this one, which uses a micro USB, which for some people, they won't really care because you'll only charge it at home. But if you're traveling all the time, you don't necessarily want to carry multiple cords of different types of USBs. It could be very annoying or overwhelming sometimes. But hey, I'm an Apple user at the moment, so I got to carry multiple cords anyway, so it's no harm or foul for me. <laughs> But anyway, uh, that's that section of the video. And what I'm going to do right here is to show you how it looks inside the ear. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So in this section of the video, we're going to go ahead and show you how they look inside the ear. So Life Note Ease, a Soundcore Anchor Life Note Ease. This is how it's going to look inside of your ear when you use it. So granted, because of the stem, it is noticeable, but it is extremely, extremely, extremely lightweight. Well, on the other hand, you have the Liberty... Uh, Liberty Neos. So these are thicker. They are chunkier. You have that blinking light. So if you're at work, someone's going to definitely know that something's blinking. Um, they are much thicker. I don't have an issue. Like I said, you can see that it seals inside your ear. So that, that so no, there's really no sound leakage compared to these, which you do good, do a very good job of sitting in your ear, but just at a, a tap, it just moves the headset around. So, you know, you have to actually fit the earbud properly in order for the sound to stay where you want it to be. Because anyone that has, has headphones has had this issue where you put the earbud inside of your ear. And what happens is if it's not set properly and you're using both, it feels like the sound is uneven. While this one goes right inside, goes right inside your ear. It act, this side is actually making me talk louder because I hear less. While this one, it's like, you know what? Uh, I'm just speaking normal. It's easier to actually speak with like no ease inside of my ear while talking to someone else. While the Neo, like I said, because of that in-ear design, it, it forces me, like it sounds like I'm talking louder than what I should be. And it it really blocks out a lot. Of, it's no noise cancellation or either one, but it does feel like it blocks out a lot of the sound. So that's pretty much it. So if you're looking for a headset, like I said, this is a simple comparison just to say, you know what? One has bigger sound. But, it's, but don't count out the other one. It also sounds great. And remember, it also depends on ear shape. So if you're one of those people where uh, more universally, the Life Note E's over here are going to fit in everyone's ear more universally better than the Neo's because of the chunkiness and thick. Because this headset is so thick and chunky, it's going to, you're going to have to, not every ear is going to fit it, put it that way. While the Life Note E's, which are much thinner, much smaller, even people with small ears like my wife. She has very, very small ears. And she says that she loves the Note E's because of the fit. She can't use the Neo. So keep aware of that too. Anyway, that's the video. Like always, like, subscribe. And uh, please, the gentleman's name was SK Sparks on YouTube. You better be subscribed for this video. <laughs> All right, you guys take care.